Well, this year we've played a lot of clips of journos, reporters and anchors, Mel, and in the process, it's safe to say... We've made some enemies. We've made some enemies. So we decided, given it's our last show, to give a few friends of the show a right of reply. Hi, Mel and Tim. Bonjour, bonjour. Hello, Mel and Tim. Hey, Melody. Hey, Tom. Not since British girl group Mel and Kim has there been a team like Mel and Tim. I'm Michael Rowland here on the set of ABC News Breakfast, where the seats are much cheaper than yours, I can assure you. Not terribly relatable. I mean, my seat's super expensive. Mel, can you tell Tim, if he ever wants a New Zealand sport person back on your guy's show for Series 2, he owes me some sort of trick shot, just so I know he won't muck it up again? You want me to say something nice about cheap seats? Congratulations for your the last season. Next, next. I always said that making it to the cheap seats really meant we were making it to the big time. Cheers for next year. Keep up the good work. We hope that uh, you go from 20 viewers to, to 40 viewers next year. <laughs> there, I said it. Can I have my dog back? The local forecast for you is that there's going to be some tears falling over the ship seat, cheap seats. You mocked me this year for not being able to say John Bellala, John Burra, John Bella. Anyway, he quit politics, so we fixed that. We criticised myself and two of my colleagues calling us triplets because we had the same hairstyle. And that's like saying those people with overgrown spartan hair with too much hair wax at the ends look like old white up Nazi stars. I'd like to give you notice that we're going to be charging a commission from now on. I mean, it's really hard to know sometimes where the ca where that camera is. Is that the time? Yeah, I better go. So I've actually got to watch on, you know what I mean? There's no hard feelings, guys. We, we want to wish you all the best for 2022. <laughs>